Now we are doing exercise 13.1, question number 4. Question number 4. Let me write down the question. Now, let us understand the question. Question says, find the angle between the hour and the minute change of a clock. So we need to find the angle between the hour and minute change. So let me draw a clock. Okay. So it is 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And this is the, some say this is the clock. Okay. Now, when it is 15 minutes past 3, am expressing it in okay so what is the time time is something like 3 and 15 this is the longer one and this is the shorter one so i need to find the angle between this one okay so what am i going to do is first of all okay i need to find the angle between this one this is 315 right i hope you can understand this much now if i need to find the angle so first angle made by angle made by our hand this shorter one right what is the angle made by this one in complete 12 hours so this is one hour two hour three hour right in complete 12 hour so it will make 360 degree okay so angle made by our hand is equal to in complete okay it will be 360 degree in 12 hour right so one hour is equal to 360 divided by 12 right and here we have 3 hours and 15 minutes right so 3 hours and 15 minutes will be so 3 hours and 15 minutes will be 3 hours and 15 minutes right if i need to convert i need to multiply by 300 by 12 so this is our formula here 300 by 12 i hope you understood how we get in complete circle okay complete rotation like from 12 till 12 it will be 360 degree right and it is 12 hours so for 12 hours it is 360 degree for one hour it is 360 divided by 12 right and for 3 hours and 15 minutes i need to multiply 3 hours 15 minutes by 360 by 12 i hope you can understand this much now let me write down here so 3 hours 15 minutes if i multiply this one by 360 total degree divided by total hour 12 okay now 3 hours and 15 minutes so 3 right on as it is 15 minutes let me convert it into hours again so 3 plus okay 15 minutes 3 hours 15 minutes is 15 divided by 60 min hours right so if i multiply this one by 360 by 12 what have i done i have converted minutes into hours okay if i divide minutes per hour 60 minutes is equal to one hour right so i've divided by 60 6 3 is 18 so it will be 180 plus 15 divided by 60 right and it will be or i can do like this also it will be much easier 15 1 to 15 15 4 to 60 so 4 into 3 4 3 is 12 plus 1 divided by 4 into 360 by 12 I can write down this one as 12 plus 1 it is 13 divided by 4 into 360 divided by 12 if i cancel 4 1 4 4 9 the 36 3 4 the 12 3 3 the 9 2 to the 4 2 15 the. so 15 into 13 divided by 12 so 15 into 13 5 3 the. 15 and 15 16 17 18 1 9 5 divided by 2 okay now this is the degree angle okay this is the angle made by our hand so this is degree okay fine now let us do angle made by minutes hand. so angle made by minute and is this one right so it is angle made by minute hand minute is only 15 minutes so what i can write what i can write down here is 15 okay into in complete rotation like from here till here okay it is 360 degree how many minutes in 360 degree only 60 
right so multiply 15 into 360 by 60 15 into 360 by 60 6 6 is 36 15 6 6 5 is 30 and 6 on 6 7 8 9 and it is 90 right so angle made by minute change it is 90 degree so we know angle made by our hand is 195 by 2 degree and by minute hand it is 90 degree so therefore by question find the angle between hour and minute chain so angle between hour and minute hands is equal to 195 divided by 2 minus 90 how did i get 195 divided by 2 from here our hand okay total angle made by our hand minus total angle made by minute hand so minute hand it is 90 degree so 195 minus 2 will multiply here so 9 to the 1880 divided by 2 so 195 minus 18 it is 15 divided by 2 and it is in degree okay or i can write down this one if i divide by 2 to 15 to 7 to 14 and it will be 1 right so i can write down this one as 7 1 by 2 and this is degree okay i hope this much is correct now let us convert this one into radian so 7 angle in the radian is equal to 15 divided by 2 into degree into radian to convert degree into radian so it is pi by 180 right so 15 1 the 15 and let me do 3 5 3 the 15 and 5 2 the 10 and it will be 5 6 the 30 5 2 the 10 5 3 the 15 and 5 6 the 30 and 3 1 the 3 3 1 the 3 3 2 the 6 it is 12 so pi divided by 12 into 224 pi divided by 24 this is in radian let us also convert in radian in grads therefore angle in grads which will be equal to what is the angle it is 15 by 2 15 by 2 into 100 by 90 so 2 and the 2 2 5 the 10 and 50 and 0 0 out and 3 3 the 9 3 5 the 15 and 5 5 the 25 divided by 3 and if i divide 25 by 3 this is in grades okay if i divide 25 by 3 so 3 25 3 8 the 24 and it is 1 so i can write down remainder as 3 up i can write down as 1 and here i can write down 8 8 1 by 3 and this is in the form of grades okay that's all i hope the answer is correct thank you so much if you find any difficulty any problem please do write down in the comment below i'll be ready to help you that's all thank you so much we will meet in the next video